वेलकम चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू माई चैनल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो डियर चिल्ड्रन नो मूविंग टू डेसीमल्स डेसीमल फ्रैक्शंस अ फ्रैक्शन हुज डिनोमीटर इज टेन और अ पावर ऑफ टेन लाइक टेन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड एक्सेट्रा आर गोइंग टू कॉल द डेसीमल फ्रैक्शंस हियर वी आर हैविंग डेसीमल फ्रैक्शन एग्जाम्पल Another way of expressing such decimal fraction is just writing the numerator or with a dot at a proper place, and just we have to remove the denominator part. So such fractions where we are having these denominators ten hundred thousand are called decimal fractions, and such fraction we can express in the form of decimal and vice versa. so friends this decimal number system are also known as a base 10 system why because each place value is denoted by a power of 10 and we are having decimal point and to the right we are having some digits and to the left we are having some digits we will see here a decimal number refers to a number consist of two parts first is whole number part and second is decimal part as we know that the fraction can be written as decimal and a decimal can be rep represented as a fraction so how just look at here this example we are having fraction 4 upon 10 so this 4 upon 10 you can represent as 0.4 in the same way the fraction 19 upon 100 you can represent as as 0.19 friends here what i am doing 4 upon 10 the denominator contains 10 power 1 so this removing this 10 means you are going to remove 1 0 so you need to give the decimal point after one digit from the right hand side and here we are having 19 upon 100 so in the denominator two zeros are there so friends you need to give two digits you need to write decimal after the two digits from the right hand side in the same way you are having here 24 upon 1000 this one example so here you are going to write it as a 0.024 removing the three zeros means you need to write the decimal from the right hand side after the three digits so the number which are in the form of like decimal point 2.4 1.128 3.14 0.04 you can call them decimal numbers or just you can simply call them decimals you can see in this example 25.386 so here 25 is the whole number part and the part 386 represent decimal part and here 25 you can see the digits which are to the right hand side of the decimal point are like 3 is tens place It is at the hundredth place. Six at at the thousandth place. In the same way, when you move to this left hand side of the decimal places, like twenty five, five is at the unit place, and the two is at the tens place. So here we are representing them in the form of ten. Like that's why we are call them number system, ten number system or a decimal number system also. Like here also, you are having one more example: twenty-three point four five six seven. So twenty-three is here a whole number part, and the four five six seven is a decimal part, and the four represent here one tenth, tenth place. Five represent hundredth place, thousandth place, and the ten thousandth place. The number of the digits contained in the decimal part. of a decimal gives number of its decimal places like suppose i am having 1.44 so here in 1.44 i am having the two decimal places 
decimal places after the decimal okay like one is a here whole number part and four four is a decimal part and after the decimal here right hand side we are having two decimal places in this example 58.236 i am having three decimal places after the decimal so we can have the two categories here like decimal and unlike decimals as the name itself suggests like like decimals what is their like decimal the decimals having the same number of decimal places like 6.235 4.023 45.369 in all the three example one thing is common that they all are containing three places after that decimal and they are that's that's why they are called as decimal and that of like decimals and whereas we can have decimal with a different number of decimal places like different number of decimal places in this example you are having one decimal place here you are having two decimal places here you are having four decimal places again you are having your one decimal place so all are different different so we can call them unlike decimals so the number of digits contained in the decimal part is just nothing but the number of its decimal places and one important property is there friends that adding the zeros after the last digit of the decimal part will not give any kind of changes in that decimal for example look at here 2.3 you can write 2.3 as 2.30 2.300 2.3000 and so on here zero in the decimal part after the last digit of the decimal part will gives nothing means it doesn't matter if you are going to add such a zeros so using this concept we can easily get convert the unlike decimal into the like ones for example you can see here just look at here this one example we are having 5.2 3.140.022 0 so first of all we are going to select the maximum or the largest decimal place in the decimal part here in this example we are having 3 that is the largest decimal places in the decimal part okay so we are going to write all the these means the remaining two into that such form like 5.2 i can write as 5.200 which means as a 5.2 both are equal i can write 3.14 as 3.140 which means again same 3.14 and we are having 0.022 so now we get all the like decimals here so these are the just basic concept of decimals hope you have understood it thank you